friends welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you're new here welcome my name is Rachel I am a reseller on sites like eBay Poshmark and Mercari so I buy liquidation merchandise online and I sell it on these online platforms for a profit so if you want to see what came in the boutique by the box outdoor voices box which is what we're opening up today definitely stick around editing Rachel here I did not realize until after I opened this box and took everything out of it that I didn't put the microphone on my shirt. I left it sitting next to me on the desk. So I apologize that this video is probably a little bit echoey and uh, it sounds a little bit funny for the most part. I did try to enhance the sound as much as I possibly could. So bear with me during this one and uh, we'll get through it as best as possible. So I didn't buy this box initially when it first was offered on their site but I finally grabbed it I think they were like almost sold out of it and they put it on sale so I grabbed it while it was on sale it is sold out now I have no idea if they're going to restock it but either way I wanted to show you what came in here in case you were curious and definitely let me know down below if you ordered this um, did you get the same stuff or different stuff and how is it doing for you I feel like I'm a little late to the game on this one so so what I'll do is I will open it up, get everything listed, and come back 90 days later and let you know if it actually sold, if I actually made a profit. Thank you to my viewer who suggested that I use a rating scale. I am going to rate this box as, oh yeah, being the best, oh okay, being okay, and then oh no, as being um, not so great. So I'll let you know what I think after I open it based on the ease of listing, the chance I'm going to make a profit after 90 days and the quality of items inside. Um, on the 90 day update, there are two extremes I will add in. I don't really foresee myself labeling a box at the extremes unless I've already gone through trying to sell everything. There is a potential after 90 days, I'll call it on the extreme a holy grail if it's amazing or a dumpster fire if it is completely awful. So when I do the 90 day update, you'll have to stick around for that. Make sure you subscribe if you like videos like this. Like I said, you'll always get a 90 day update. I'm also trying to incorporate some strategy videos into my channel too and just what works for me in my reseller business. And hit that like button if you could, that really does help out the channel a lot as well. Okay, let's get into it. This box, I paid 340 for 40 pieces, making my cost 850 per piece. Um, I do have a 10% off affiliate code for Boutique by the Box. Like I said, I don't think this box is available, but if you're shopping, there is a link down below for 10% off your order or just type in code oh yeah. When you order, you'll get 10% off. Okay, so it was $400, I think, $10 a piece, and that was a little high for me, but I did grab this at $8.50. Um, not that this is Boutique by the Box's fault, but this box has seen better days. It is completely mangled. And I had a few things delivered on the same day and uh, I needed to see what was in here and the box like basically just fell apart. So um, it is already open, it's very open, but I have not looked at the stuff inside. Like I can see in the box, but that's about it. I, I have not actually looked at anything. So we will still do that together. Basically what I'm gonna do is show you everything. I use List Perfectly to list everything. So I'll put it on at least eBay, Poshmark, Mercari cascade it to those three platforms, get it in front of as many eyes as possible, and I'll come back 90 days later and give you an update. So anyway, if I can, I'll show you this. Yeah, this is like so, this box is like so many. Okay, all right. Um, some of it's in bags, some of it isn't. I assume anything that is in bags is gonna have to come out of the bags by the time, you know, when I go to list it. So I probably will take stuff out of the bags as we go. Um, this is the Tea Tree Zoom 7-8 legging. Okay, so this is a bonus. If the tags are going to have style information on them, that's going to make it super easy for me to figure out how much it is online, if it's sold out, how much it like if it's if it's on sale or what was the MSRP. So that's great. This is a size small. And by the way, I always forget to say this because I feel like you guys aren't really like looking for stuff to buy, but if you do see something you're interested in, my shops are linked down below too. Um, I'd be happy to cut you a deal. Um, these are shorts, size 3X. Um, now these aren't probably new without tag, because I don't see any, 
tags on these. I'm going to assume these are women's. Um, they are organic cotton, so that's good. All right, so those might be a little harder to find online, but that's okay. Um, these are also shorts. Size medium, recycled polyester. Interesting color. These do have a tag. These are the high stride seven inch, inch short. The color is Fern Dijon. Yep, that's about right, Fern Dijon. Okay. Um, also some shorts. These are a size extra small. The three inch rugby short in Arctic. And these do have an MSRP of $48 printed on them. So remember I paid $8.50 per piece. And with Boutique by the Box, typically, this is not necessarily true of their Madewell J. Crew boxes, but typically everything else, it is in like sellable condition. So when I get 40 pieces, I'm not expecting that I'm going to have sensors or heavy damage or anything. I should be able to list all 40 of these with no problem. So that's good. That's a plus. Um, this is a 2XL or extra, extra large flow bralette. So this is a low impact sports bra or bralette, I guess. Um, it's like a space dye pink. There's no MSRP on this one though but still be easy to find. Easy for my VA to find. My VA is amazing. She, whenever I have stuff that needs to be looked up, she's, she does a great job. Um, these are the three quarter two-tone leggings in Dove Ash, size extra small, $85 MSRP. The one thing I guess that I that will be deciding factor of whether this is good or not is saturation. Sometimes with Boutique by the Box, we all end up getting the same items or there's a lot of duplicates. And so if everybody that orders this, you know, if they sell, I don't know, 100 of these 40 boxes or may, probably more, if everybody gets the same assortment, then Poshmark is flooded, right? Or I don't know where everybody sells on, but it's possible that it gets saturated. So that's going to be a big kind of deciding factor on whether or not this is a good box. And I won't know that until I start listing and looking this stuff up. This is a Squirt Hydrangea Warm-Up 2.5 inch Squirt, size extra large. Squirts are very popular right now, uh, and I like this color, so I, I do think that's going to be a good one. I think majority of everything else is in the bags, so I'm going to have to just take it out as I go here. This is a 3X Milk Stone Rec Trek Zip-Up. I don't actually know if this is men's or women's just looking at it. So I'll have to do some research on that one. But that's probably one of the most substantial pieces in the box, I would think. Here's another pair of sweat shorts. These are the pickup three inch shorts, size 3X. All right, this is a 2X birdie cropped polo in Kelly green very very golfy and it's got the outdoor voices logo and it's 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 very like this is totally a golf shirt the way it feels the mesh meshy type material really digging the pattern on this one this is 2xl or xxl retro haze exercise dress very cute This is, oh, it's a one shoulder size large. Okay. This is the one shoulder lined dress. I don't know how practical this is for exercise. Just my personal opinion. Um, there's no built in bra. So it would probably be like, you'd have to find the right bra to go with that. Um, this is the cross back dress size 3 XXXL all right uh, the 
Rose Garden Flow 5 inch short, size 2 extra small. Very tiny. We're going from very large to very tiny in this box. More shorts, 2 extra small. The Move Free 6 inch short. I love this color, wow. Size XXXL. The warm up short five inch. Uh, the Rec Trek pant in lizard, size XXL. Oh, nice joggers. Okay. Bright Chartreuse 7 inch flow short, extra small. And actually I see another pair, I think these are the same. Yeah, these are the exact same, so I got two pair here. Here's another Squirt, size extra large, bubble gum, par 3 inch Squirt, super cute. Uh, oh, two pieces here. Size extra, extra small, blueberry warm-up short. And this is a like thermal waffle knit shirt. Oh, that's fun. It's the Cozy Rib Cropped Cardigan in Earl Grey. It looks very muted purple to me, but... Um, so there's like snaps, and they snap all the way down. Uh, these are the extra extra small five inch warm up short. Size extra small, move your body for your mind graphic shirt. Oh, oh, I see the back. Move your body for your mind. This is very big for an extra small though, but I'm sure it's meant to be oversized. Here's another bralette. Size extra large, oatmeal flow bralette. All right. Two extra small rose garden flow short. I think we had another pair of those. Two extra small t-shirt, the everyday short sleeve. That's also a two extra small, but it probably is meant to be cropped or oversized. Sheer rib tank, two extra small. This is a size small cropped t-shirt. Move your body to free your mind. Okay, there it is again, that logo. Yeah, this is a small. Holy orange. What's going on here? Oh, this is a dress. Wow, okay. So this is like, it says $108 on it, the court dress in Clementine. So it's got an open back, which again, I don't know why they wouldn't build in a bra, but you know, whatever. This isn't Halara. I'm used to Halara. They built in bra to everything. Um, so that's a tennis dress, very, very orange. We had a pair of these already, these track pants. These are two extra large rec track pant. I think we've seen these already in the beginning. These are a size small Zoom 7-8 legging. And actually, I think there's another pair, yeah. This is also, oh, this is a two extra small. Okay, and then I think actually this bra matches. Zoom double strap bra in tea tree. Is that the color on this tea tree? Yes, and this is a two extra small too. So actually, what I might do, I might, I don't do this often, but I might do this this time. I might try to sell this one as a set because they're both two extra small and they clearly match. So. I may list that one as a set. 
Um, Cozy Rib Tank Java 2 Extra Small. Um, the Flow Bralette Patina Mix Extra Small. This is the Everyday Short Sleeve in Capri Small. Two extra small move free six inch shorts. Whale Vanilla Ringer Tee extra small. I don't know how much these little t-shirts are even worth. Um, this is the last one. It's one more t-shirt. The Everyday Short Sleeve Two Extra Small. It's a plain t-shirt. All right, I'm just going to count real quick, make sure there's 40 pieces here, and then I will give you my opinion. All right, friends, there are indeed 40 pieces here, and I have to say, I just got this new microphone. I'm just now using it. I'm not used to wearing it. And when I went to start filming, I did not put it on. I had left it sitting next to the box. So I apologize uh, if the first 20 minutes of the video sounds a little muffled. Um... I forgot to put the mic on, but it is what it is. Um, I can't refilm because I've already opened it. I'm not going to. So this is why we do things live and uh, I hope it doesn't sound too bad. Anyway, there are 40 pieces here, which is what I was expecting. So that's definitely on point. If we're talking ease of listing, I'm gonna give this box hands down an oh yeah. So easy, everything, almost everything has tags. I should be able to easily look up the style names and figure out how much they cost originally, if they were on sale or whatever, how much comps are. That should be very easy. I'm giving that an oh yeah for sure. Quality of items. I'm also gonna give this an oh yeah. Now again, I don't know um, how much they're actually worth, but as far as looking at each individual piece, they are as expected. Majority of what's in my box is like new with tag, or there's a couple new without tag, but 40 out of 40 are completely listable, so that gets an oh yeah for sure. Profitability in 90 days. Typically with a box of new tag stuff that I paid up a little bit for, I want to double my money. I'm gonna give this one an oh okay. I don't really know until I sell the stuff, but I say that because there's a lot of, number one, there's, there's basics like t-shirts and, and bralettes, tank tops. $8.50 a piece for stuff like that. I'm probably just going to make my money back on, on that sort of thing. It's not worth a ton. It didn't sell for a ton to begin with. I can't expect to resell it for a ton. There are some substantial pieces, those jogger pants, that jacket. So, you know, it's usually with mystery boxes, that kind of thing balances out. There's not a lot of duplicates, but there are some. Sometimes with Boutique by the Box, it ends up being a lot of duplicates, and then they sold multiple boxes to many people of the same assortment, so it becomes saturated. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue here or not. Maybe. I'm glad there's not a lot of duplicates in my box. But um, the one thing is there's lots of size 2 extra small, which might be hard to sell, might not. I'm leaning towards it probably is going to be hard to sell. So there's that. Stay tuned. Um, again, if you ordered this box, please let me know down below. Let me know what you think of my box. If you think I can profit after 90 days, let me know down below. Make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see that 90 day update and any of my upcoming videos. I would love to see you again in another video. Hit that like button on the way out if you could. That really does help out the channel as well. And thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one.